Hi there, it's me, Megan, and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to traffic HTML5 as a DFP creative. Implementing HTML5 as an ad creative is often hailed or forecasted as one of the future pillars of ad technology. As such, we can never have enough tutorials on how we can go about trafficking this type of creative in DFP. Are you ready? Let's get it started. In this lesson, I'll first introduce you to the steps of how to upload HTML5 creatives as a bundle. In the second half of this lesson, I'll show you how to upload a single HTML5 creative as a third-party creative. Uploading HTML5 creative bundles saves you a tremendous amount of time. Rather than manually uploading each creative file one by one, you can upload a batch of creatives in one shot. To get started, we must first make sure that your DFP account has API access enabled. If you're not familiar with the Double Click for Publishers API, I'll explain it in brief. The API simply lets developers build a variety of applications that can interact with DFP. Enabling access is easy. Simply go to your Admin tab and click on Network Settings. Check the status of the API access setting and see if you see a green check mark. Then API access is enabled. There's nothing further you need to do. If however there is a red circle, click it and accept to accept the API terms. Click Save. With our API access enabled, we can now navigate to the HTML5 to DFP tool and choose our Google account that's associated with our DFP account. This is the DFP account where you want to push your HTML5 creative bundle batch to. Please note, your user permissions must allow you to preview and edit creatives within DFP. After selecting the appropriate DFP network, upload the creative bundle zip to the DFP server. The tool supports zip files from Adobe Edge, Tumult Hype, or Google Web Designer. You will be prompted with a box requesting your confirmation that you have the legal right to use and modify the creatives. Check this box and click Submit. Once your creative zip is uploaded, you will receive a message confirming the upload is complete. The HTML5 to DFP tool will extract various creative snippets from the zip and then allow you to preview these snippets. Please be advised that the tool may select certain creative snippets from the zip file that you do not want to use. You can easily preview the various extracted components to make sure they are the snippets your campaign requires. That's all there is to it when it comes to uploading HTML5 creatives as a bundled zip. Let's move on and go over the workflow for uploading a single HTML5 creative. What might you upload a single HTML5 creative? Often it will be a third-party creative that the advertiser provided. Let's proceed and see what uploading a single HTML5 creative is all about. From your DFP account, navigate to the Delivery tab. You'll notice on the left-hand panel an option to select Creatives. Click Creatives and in the new selection option, click Plus Add Creatives. In the search box, search for the advertiser you would like to assign the single creative to. Once you've found the advertiser, click Continue. Since in this example we are uploading a third-party creative, we must select third-party and type a name for the creative. In this example, we're using advertiser-provided third-party creative tags. I'm going to copy them now and paste it into the code snippet box. If this particular third-party creative is registered by DFP as coming from a recognized rich vendor, then DFP will automatically insert macros into the code snippet. If DFP does not recognize the vendor, and if your advertiser provided no instructions on inserting macros, you will want to reach out to them directly for instructions. We are nearing the end of how to upload the single creative. All that's left to do is choose the target ad unit size. This is where the creative will serve. And finally, select Save. We will preview the creative as a best practice to make sure it serves properly. And there you have it! In this lesson we covered two different methods of uploading HTML5 as creatives, both the bulk upload and single upload. That's it for today, thanks for joining us! Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.